Yo, yo, it's your boy, Mr. Replay, and we back here with another... What is this? Is this the Project X that Microsoft was talking about? Oh, man. Let's get right into this. So let me first start off by saying thanks to everybody that has tuned in, clicked the video, appreciate it much for showing your boy some love. But apparently Microsoft, Xbox, whatever, same thing, they dropped the Project X. Well, as we know it as Project X, they currently changed the name to Cloud Gaming. Um, beta with Xbox Game Pass. So, this joint released yesterday, depending on when you watch this video, September 15, 2020. This joint is a beast. It's cloud gaming with Xbox, meaning you can take your Xbox games on the go, play them where you want, play them how you know. It don't matter. Get your game on. A couple things that you actually need to play. I was about to say need, but actually play and have it up and running on your devices. You need a smart device for number one, meaning a smartphone, a smart tablet, a laptop to actually access the cloud gaming for Xbox. But there is no iOS, so bad news alert. Everybody that owns an iPhone or iPad and was looking, or MacBook, I'm not sure you played on the MacBook yet, but I'm speculating. Everybody that actually owns these products, you won't be able to play it. Not certain if it will be an update in the future, and y'all will be able to play it. But as of right now, only Android. Only Android. So, what you would need is a smart device, a compatible gaming controller, meaning Bluetooth or wired, and you also need the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is $14.99 a month, but it's not bad considering the things that you actually get with it, which is you get the Xbox, the Xbox Game Pass, it's Ultimate Bundle itself, the Xbox Gold Live, EA Play actually hopped on. So later on in the holidays, these holi this holiday that's coming up, you'll actually be able to play EA games as well. New games constantly get added all the time, and you get to play some day one release. So Microsoft is definitely doing it big in this area. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hop right into some of this footage, this gameplay. I mean, like I said, it actually plays smooth. It has a little, uh, like every now and again, as you probably seen on the screen, it lags in and out every now and again. I know you all probably hear me pressing these buttons all crazy. But for the most part, the gameplay smooth. The audio is crisp. Like, can't ask for nothing better. And not to mention, it's Xbox. You're playing your Xbox on the go. Another thing I did notice that I thought they was going to actually skim on because, uh, you know, I just thought they was going to skim on it. You still have online features. So you still will be able to play your gears online. And they just add, well, I don't know if they just added, but I just seen that they had Gears of War 5 up there, which I'm actually going to show you in a little bit. I'm currently playing on the Zen 6, and I'll actually show you in a minute because this is a new little feature that I wanted to try out on my stream and my channel, calling it FPM, that's first person mode. 
So we're going to go ahead and get that a go right now. Right now. And this joint, like I said, is Chris, as you see. I'm playing with a wireless controller. Well, a wire, uh, an Android controller. One of the best because it's got clickable uh, analog sticks. It got all the buttons set up. Uh, I did notice yesterday as I'm using it, the X and Y is actually backwards. Um, they don't remap them. You just have to, <laughs> you know, I got to get used to it. Look down. Got both my trigger buttons, left bumper, right bumper, and the trigger. And like I said, you see right here, playing with the D-pad, everything works smooth. They got me on Chun-Li playing the story mode. Oh, man. And I, I haven't even played this, so that's another good thing about it. You get to catch up on all the games that you didn't play. I'm pretty sure they have them in there. They got 100-plus titles and counting for you to play whenever, however. The other good thing, the other thing I forgot to mention is if you... Depending on when you're watching this video, if you actually uh, go ahead and hit the... Damn, I'm kicking their butt. If you actually go ahead and activate your uh, Game Pass Ultimate, it's only a dollar right now. A dollar for the month. And after that, obviously, it would be $14.99. But just so you could try it out, it's not bad. Hit him with the ooh Oh, he can dodge that jump. Hit with the ooh -ah. FPM. FPM. But I'm going to go ahead and hop right over and show you the different controllers. Oh, tongue top. Show you the different controllers that you can use. So we back on the red magic this time playing with the ps4 dual shot you know like i said earlier in the video i was playing with the zen 6 phone with the razor kenshi control kishi controller um i just wanted to show you just a little demonstration that it actually works with the ps4 controller and other controllers as you seen earlier in the video so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right. Previously on gears. We used to protect cock settlements. Now we're about to raid one. <laughs> now. Raiding is what outsiders do. I know, long pause. Still trying to get the FPM thing working properly. But is it it will come along. Trust your boy. But as you see, I am playing with the PS4 controller. Let's see if I can skip this. Let's see, circle would be B in this matter. You know, A, X, Y. Try to skip the cutscene. Just so, as you can tell, I'm skipping the scene. So you know it definitely works. And this John looks amazing. As you see, I'm going down, going down on the controller, it's still going down. I can rotate the camera, everything works like it should. So with that little demonstration out of the way, actually, I want to hit the bottom of the ground. This joint atmosphere and environment look crazy on this joint. I'm definitely going to be playing this later on the cloud. Tell us where to go, control. So you see everything works as it should. Yeah, that's pretty evident. You're not there to buy a timeshare. You're there to launch an old hammer of dawn prototype. And your intel says one of the silos is still intact, right? Yeah, as far as they can get you still your little depending on your internet speed. Oh, they got the invert controls on. I gotta change that. Everything works. So so this is the end of the video. I really do appreciate everybody that stopped by. I know I said that earlier, but it's all good. But I think this is a great move for Microsoft and for gamers. 
Microsoft being you can attract more fans and other people to their platform even if they don't own the hardware. For gamers, <laughs> what more can I say? You get to play Xbox on the go. But with all that being said, stay great, stay blessed, show love, and I'm out. Peace.